everyone, it's Janice. Welcome to another Get the Look video. Today's video is going to be about the character Olivia Pope from the TV show Scandal. And she's played by the actress Carrie Washington, who's definitely one of my absolute favorites. And if you're not familiar with Scandal, it's a Shonda Rhimes TV show. It's definitely a drama. And Olivia Pope's the main character, and she is basically like a fixer of all of the political scandals or various scandals that are going on in Washington, D.C., in and out of the political arena, and her character on the show is having an affair with the president. So that's some added drama and scandal there. Um, before I get into the video, uh, if you haven't seen my other Get the Look videos, I'll link them down below. I've done Jackie O, Audrey Hepburn, Blair Waldorf from Gossip Girl, and Emily Thorne of Revenge. And one last thing to know about the show, so it takes place in D.C., and you know most TV shows are on from like late September to mid-May, so this show is the same way, and it, all of her fashion choices seems to be very wintry, so keep that in mind that I don't know what Olivia would wear in the summer, and she has a like professional job where she dresses, obviously, in a professional manner, so... You don't really see her casual look a lot, but I did put in a few like guesses as to what she would wear in her casual life, and I did also include like accessories and a couple makeup items too. So let's jump into it. First off, Olivia only wears neutrals, and she pretty much, gray is like her main color, but she also does wear black and white. So the blazer that I'm wearing right now is close to what Olivia would wear. She would not do anything with the ruffle. She is not really like has doesn't really have like a masculine style but she has a very simple style a very well tailored look but um gray and blazers are definitely her thing she just wouldn't quite do this one one that she would probably wear is a tweed one and she has a lot of jackets that have kind of like interesting visual details like these buttons or sort of like an interesting collar line uh, or neckline that would be very olivia and this jacket, I'm not sure if she would wear something quite this boxy, but it's another neutral tweed jacket, and that's basically like her signature on the show. She's always in a blazer. Um, Olivia does not wear skirts. She does wear dresses when they go to like special events, but there aren't a whole ton of those on the show. Her go-to is actually uh, Armani pants that the character, or not the character, the fashion designer for the show has her in these gray wide leg. These are not Armani. These are my pants from Express. Um, so kind of like a wider waistband and like a wide leg pant with a blazer is definitely her look. Occasionally they do have her in blue, um, most often gray and white though. So sometimes she will be in like a navy blazer and like a navy pant. So this could be another option to look at if you're kind of trying to get her look. I've looked into different fashion choices on the show for characters um, that not are not just Olivia and obviously the fashion and what the character is wearing is supposed to like kind of reflect their mood or what's going on in the scene and the director has her in like white when like everything's going well and kind of like black when things are really dark or confusing or they have her in like prints um, so she does wear prints but they're very subtle and she does do a lot of solids but when things are going great kind of and when she's kind of going into like takedown mode um, and she's playing the good guy. She always kind of refers to the phrase, you know, I'm putting on my white hat. So she also will wear like her white blazer, white Oxford. These are all just like, a lot of these are really just staples for any woman, but, um, you know, they're particular to Olivia's style. When she's at home, Olivia's enjoyment, um, she never, uh, she doesn't eat dinner. That's one of the like cute or quirky things about her character she always just has popcorn and wine so whenever the show shows her at home in the evening she's always in just like a white blousey like open cardigan and like white silk pants think like very luxurious when you think of Olivia Pope she would never wear like a hoodie or anything like that think of like silk cashmere this is all very Olivia for accessories she keeps it simple she does wear like a long necklace or like a long chain necklace would be the only really like accessory signature I would say for her, she does not do anything too loud, no statement necklaces. A pump is definitely, you know, the way to go in an office. So the pump is her shoe and she has such a like purposeful walk, like such a stomp if you watch the show. Like I love the way she walks. And these are two fashion items that are a little bit off for Olivia perhaps. They do show her in houndstooth quite a bit, but I don't know if she would actually, you know, this sweater would be too casual for her workplace, but this is where I say, like, these are the two items that I kind of, like, imagine Olivia in if they kind of showed her in more relaxed situations, which they don't do that frequently. They did show her 
in the woods once with the president and she was wearing the L.L. Bean boots that I love. So sometimes they do show her in that aspect. And this is a tweed t-shirt, which again, a t-shirt would not be dressy enough really for her office position. Well, this isn't really a t-shirt, but you know what I mean, just like casual top. But this is something I would imagine she would wear. Makeup wise, I did look up her makeup on the show. I'm always looking up like after every episode, I'm always on like WarnOnTV.com or Possessionista.com trying to look up what was her fashion on the show. Even though I obviously can't afford like Armani pants, I still love to know what she was wearing makeup wise and clothing wise. And makeup wise, they do have her wear Tarte flush blush quite a bit. They said especially after she's, you know, had a little bit of alone time with the president. And for lips, those are a big focus on the show. Um, they're, I mean, she's got a gorgeous face, but she has these beautiful full lips. So the Dior Maximizer would definitely help you like achieve that full lip look. And her, she does wear eyeshadow, which I really like in the you know professional environment. This is the Dior Quint in Grage. I picture that she would wear like really luxurious makeup. I don't think they've ever done any scenes where they kind of like show what makeup she would wear, but I love when they do that on TV shows where they like show the fancy ladies like vanity. But I picture that she would wear like Dior makeup. Okay, a couple more fashion items. The bag that she carries, I obviously don't have. She carries a Prada handbag, always a Prada handbag. And the, it's, um, this is a Michael Kors bag, but this is kind of similar to the Prada shape that she has. So it's like a larger bag with like a structured bottom and like this type of handle. So that's the kind of bag she's always carrying and it's always a neutral. I think the one she carries most of the time, it's either, I think it's white is her, or she has a light gray one too. She has a couple different Prada bags that are all about the same shape. So this would be the shape that she goes for with her little professional look. Um, and lastly, you know, a trench coat. This has been mentioned in a lot of my videos and it's because it's a classic staple. This is what she wears when she's out and about. She does have a lot of really beautiful like overcoats. You know, like I said, the show really seems to have a very like wintry feel. Um, part of it is that in this last season, Carrie Washington was pregnant in real life. So they had to kind of like cover up her pregnancy because they didn't reflect that on the TV show. So she's always in a lot of like coats and like really covered up. Um, Sometimes I address what the character would not wear. They do flashbacks to like when she first met the president and things um, back from like 2007 and 2008. And they had her in a lot of scarves then, but that's kind of to show the passage of time. And she does not wear scarves whenever they're doing anything in the present day. So uh, let me know if you watch Scandal or if you're interested in checking it out. It's definitely one of my favorites. I just love the fashion that Olivia Pope wears. And let me know your favorite Olivia Pope look. I will do a couple more Get the Look videos. I hope you guys like these, and I'll see you soon. Bye.